the Zebra BI visuals are available on the Microsoft App Source Marketplace. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to import the visuals from the marketplace, how to enter the license key and start using them. In your Power BI desktop, navigate to your visualizations pane and click on the three dot menu here. Okay, now choose the get more visuals option from the menu, which will open the Microsoft App Source Marketplace. Okay, now we need to find the Zebra BI visuals. So I'll simply type Zebra in the search box, press enter, and I got two visuals. So we have the Zebra BI charts visual and the Zebra BI tables visual. Both visuals are certified by Microsoft, meaning that they are completely secure and that they can use all of the features as other native Power BI visuals do, meaning um, printing from Power BI service, exporting to PDF, exporting to PowerPoint, using email subscriptions and so on. So the certification is marked here with the little blue check box. Okay, let's now add the Zebra BI charts visual. Okay, the visual is imported. Um, let's do the same for the Zebra BI tables visual. Just click on the three dot menu, get more visuals, again search for Zebra. Okay, and add the Zebra BI tables visual as well. All right, this is done. Now I have both of Zebra BI visuals in my Power BI report. So let's try to start using the Zebra BI charts visual. Just click once to add the visuals into your report page. Okay, uh, first you will see the so-called landing page here in the visual, right? So the visual is now ready to accept your data. So let me add some sales data here. So simply my sales actual data and I'll do a breakdown by month, for example, to get a simple column chart or um, of course, Zebra BI has multiple charts inside, so you can use the Zebra BI chart slider to get the uh, other types of charts and so on. Now, I did not even enter the license key uh, because up until now I'm using the free version of the Zebra BI visuals. Both Zebra BI visuals offer a basic version for free, so you don't even need the license key to start using them to create, uh, you know, the basic um, uh, reports and uh, dashboards with the free version of Zebra BI. However, if you want to use the whole, all the features of Zebra BI, the whole functionality, then you need the license key and you can get a 30 day uh, free trial of the uh, professional version of the Zebra BI visual or if in case that you have subscribed um, to Zebra BI you have got the license key right so to enter the license key now navigate here to the logotype of Zebra BI and in the window choose the enter license key option okay if you're the first time user you can at this point just simply click to the Start Pro Trial, which will take you to our website, and uh, this is how you can get the license key. So once you have the license key, just click Enter the license key, paste the key into the edit box and confirm. All right, from now on, Zebra BI Charts Visual is uh, licensed. Okay, so now you can fully use all the functionality of the visuals, doing all the comparisons, uh, our famous small multiples, for example, and so on. All right, so you need to do this once per each visual. So now I have entered the license key into the Zebra BI charts visual. So let's do the same for the Zebra BI tables visual. I add the visual to my page you need to enter some data in order to, you know, um, initiate the visual so that you get this info button here. Once more, click, enter the license key. It's the same license key for both visuals. Just confirm it and from now on, you're good to go. 
Uh, both visuals are certified. The Power BI desktop will actually remember the license key. So you only have to do this once per each visual. Okay, to make um, your life easier in the future, I also recommend that you actually pin the visuals into the visualizations pane. What does this mean? If you right click here on the icon of each visual, you can pin it to visualizations pane. Let's try this. All right, now the Zebra BI uh, uh, tables visual has moved into the native Power BI visualizations. And let's do the same for Power BI charts. Okay, so from now on, you will always have it here in your Power BI, even if you start a completely new Power BI report. Um, okay, so I um, wish everybody a lot of fun using the Zebra BI visuals. I wish you great presentations and dashboards, and I invite you to check our knowledge base uh, to get familiar with all the functions and features of the Zebra BI visual. Thank you.